Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I know it's been a couple days. Um, I have been back from New York since Tuesday. And, um, yeah. Uh, making a video of the G5000 today. Gonna have a video of the 1245s sometime soon. And also my door. Um, but yeah, today we're just in my grandma's garage. Um, we still got the same, you know, 16 by 7 haws. And it looks very nice. Nothing has changed. Got the new style sensors. These are, these are the same sensors that I have on my genies at home. Here's the other one. This is the receiver, the red one. Or I think it's the receiver. People have told me different things about that. I always thought the one that flashes or turns off is the receiver, which is this one. But if I'm wrong, just let me know, because I don't know. Um, yeah. So, again, the genie. Same thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it up. Here's the wall button. Uh, you know, same thing. Alright, uh, here it goes. Yeah, runs up good. For a Genie screwdriver, this thing is pretty quiet. Um, it's not very loud. I mean, it's not quiet, but it's not loud by any means. Um, we'll go ahead and shut it. Hits the limit good. Uh, yeah, so like I said, this is a 16 by 7. 16 feet across and then seven feet tall. Uh, we have four panels here. Each hinge is a panel. And I really like the uh, the lined panels. I think that's a very nice design. Looks great. Okay, uh, we'll run it up again. We'll get the, uh, the GT912 out of my grandpa's car. Okay, we'll come back here and we'll run it again, here we go. Get you a view of the limit switch. Nice, um, yeah, it's got double torsion, you know good uh we'll come outside it's hot out here it's getting hot there's the car um yeah we'll go ahead and close it down so yeah there it is uh we can get some light over here we'll run it again there's the full view of the door So yeah, um, here is the original panel to the door. Uh, I got this thing completely laid out. Uh, yeah, that's funny. If I can get you a view of the other side, I can. Uh, you can't really see it that well, but that's what the outside looked like. So yeah, uh, if we stand in the way of the door and click the button, I'm pushing the button, nothing is happening. If we start it down, and let's say we'll kick our kick my foot under it. It does reverse. It goes back up. So yeah. Love this unit. It's a great one. It's old though. It's 1993. Um, eventually this opener is gonna be 30 years old. Not sure if it'll make it, uh, not sure if it'll make it to 30. I'm guessing that it probably will because these are very strong units and, oh god, 
visor is not the best for that remote. <laughs> Does not want to go on. Ow. Maybe I should switch the remotes and put that one in the other car. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, this, this opener actually wasn't getting used for about four years. Uh, there was a period of time where this wasn't getting used at all because the door was shot and the carriage was done. But yeah. Here's the wall button. Uh, it's supposed to have a light bulb in it. It burned out a very long time ago. Alright. Here it goes down. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's supposed to have a light in it because it never did when we were living here. My grandparents bought this house in 2004 and the entire time they have lived here, that light has, there's not been a light in there. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. That's the video of the genie. Like I said, I have some videos planned before I go out of town again in a few weeks. And then I have one video planned there. Not sure if I have... Honestly, that's probably going to be the only video. But maybe I'll have another one. But probably not. I'll probably just have a video, uh, just a little door in it. One of our cousin's house, uh, it's actually a little door, it just has like the three uh, panels and it doesn't have an opener, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, peace.